Hello friends and welcome back to our fast API tutorial. In this video, which I am now recording for a second time because the first time I did it, I didn't have the microphone turned on. Um, we are going to be covering dependencies and path operation decorators as well as some uh, global dependencies. Let's get started. So you can see here we have our app up and running and what we've seen before and we, when we used, when we looked at sub dependencies and we looked at, you know, just dependencies in general, classes of dependencies, things like that. What we've been doing is we've been using this depends right in here. Okay. Right in the path operation definition. Uh, we're going to go a little bit further, not further, but we're going to kind of look at it in a different way. Okay. So let's just go ahead and get started. We'll say async def verify token. And we'll say x token is a string, which is a header uh, element that is required. We are going to say if x token is not equal to fake super secret token, then we will raise an HTTP exception. Status code is going to be 400. And detail is going to say X token header invalid. Okay. So now what we can do, <clears throat> excuse me, is we can declare a route app dot get items. And then we'll say async def read items return item foo and item bar and it's yelling at me again i i can't believe it i did this in the video that i recorded and that i had to delete because the mic wasn't on i've done it again seriously you people that are watching this have to catch me and call me out on this i don't care if you're watching it you know, in the future weeks from now, you've got it. You've got to call me out on this. Okay. This is not acceptable. Now, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to say, I don't know, blah. Um, and then we'll actually return a string from here. What's going on? Return. Hello. We'll say blah string equals depends um, and then what are we going to depend on verify token and let's see what happens we refresh our page try it out we try and do this first and it doesn't work and we see if we run it with just some random string in there we get an error x token header invalid as we anticipate and let's actually print um, blah, just to see, just as a refresher about how dependencies work in here. So now let's actually put in what we what it should be, fake super secret token. You can see we got item foo and item bar, and we get it prints out hello, okay? Because that's what is returned from this verify token. Let's get rid of this because we don't care about that. And we don't care about this anymore. And we don't care about this. What happens though, if we want to add a, another, uh, dependency. So we'll say async def verify key. X key is going to be a string, which will also be a header attribute, a header parameter, whatever you want to call it. If X key is not equal to fake super secret key, then we'll also raise HTTP status code is going to, oh, nope. Status code is 400 detail equals X key header invalid. And this time we will return, um, the X key. So now what we can do, um, let's say we want to, uh, 
I, I don't know if I want to go down this rabbit hole right now. That's kind of what I'm, I'm stopping and thinking about. Okay, so I just needed to take a second. Um, I don't want to go down down the rabbit hole of, of putting the, the two dependencies in here. So let's just kind of move on to the point of this entire thing. What we can do instead of including dependencies in our path operation definition, we can put them in the path operation decorator. So here we're going to say dependencies equals depends on verify token and depends on verify key. Now, there's one thing to consider. Um, if we, so this is for um, when you need to check something. Uh, if you have functionality that you want, um, that you want returned to your path operation function, um, you can't put them in the decorator. Like if you wanted to actually use this key somewhere in your, go away, uh, somewhere in your function here, you can't put it in this in the the decorator because it, you won't have access to it. Like here, let's. Um, I mean, there's no way we can really even do it. Like we, if we wanted to use the key, we would have to say key string equals depends on verify key, right? That's how we would actually have access to it. But we've not done that here. We're not saying we're not assigning it to a variable. We're just saying we need to depend on this. Now we might be able to use this in another path operation function, but for this specific scenario, we're not using it. Okay, let's reformat our code and let's run this. And let's just try it out. I'm not gonna bother trying to pass something that doesn't work. Let's do fake super secret token and fake super secret key and let's run it. There we go. We got the expected response. Item foo, item bar. Okay. Um, now, one last thing that, that we're going to look at. I mean, this is pretty much it. This allows you to, um, to, to pass the dependencies in on the, uh, um, on the decorator. Sorry, I had a brain fart for a second. Um, and what we can do uh, if we want to, I don't know how to put it. Let's, let's add another route just for fun. Uh, let's try users. Okay. And we'll put the same dependencies. Let me just copy this. Async def read users. Um, users, plural. Come on. There's the S key. Okay. Um, and we will do uh, return username Rick, and I will not screw up this time, so you guys don't have to worry about it. Username Morty. Okay, let's refresh our page, and you can see we have items and users, and we have the same functionality. So if you want to pass in some sort of, if you want to pass in a token as a header, if you're not using, for some reason, a bearer token or something like that. If you want to pass it in like this, having these dependencies here will allow you to do that. Um, it, you know, it cleans it up. You don't necessarily have to have everything in the path operation definition. But the thing that happens now is if we look at this, if we want to add in some more routes and we want these same dependencies, this can get messy. And part of the purpose of fast API is to, you know, clean things up a bit. So this gets into global dependencies, excuse me. <clears throat> I had a, a bug in my throat or something. Not literally, of course. So here, let's redefine our app, fast API. We can do this, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's gonna yell at me because it's already declared, but that's fine for now. We're not gonna use it in perpetuity. Dependencies equals, and here we can actually take this and we can put that in here. Now what this allows us to do is we can actually get rid of the dependencies from the individual decorators. Let's clean this up a bit. Now we refresh our page and we should see the same functionality. 
So there you go. There's there's the way that you can add um, dependencies to your path operation decorators and the way that we can do that for um, global dependencies. And again, just as a reminder, um, you, you can put dependencies in your path operation decorator if you don't need the values that they return. If you need to work with the values that are returned, you put them in the path operation um, definition. Um, we'll see, so we're gonna get into um, multiple um, like sub apps, if you will, in Fast API. And uh, when we touch on that, like you might have authentication, um, I don't wanna say middleware because there's an actual middleware thing, you, but you might have authentication that needs to be done only on certain specific routes. You don't wanna to have to copy and paste it into all of the routes, but at the same time, you want some sort of um, generic stuff. You want it to be a little bit, a, a little bit cleaner and more dry. Well, you're gonna do this sort of thing but when we see like sub apps and things like that, you'll see that we'll be able to, to kind of split out functionality and include the dependencies on only the apps that we care about, not the, the larger scale overarching app. Okay, um, that's it for path operation decorators and global dependencies. Uh, next video we'll touch on, we'll have to do with um, dependencies with yield. That's gonna be a little bit bigger, a little bit more of a complex topic that um, has to do with, um, you know, handling database sessions, things like that. But uh, I'm not going to worry about that right now. I will see you in the next video.